Hello friends, welcome back to tutorial days and in this video you are learning Servlet and JSP. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create your very first Servlet program. In the previous two videos, you have learned how to uh, install Eclipse and also you learned in the second video how to install Apache Tomcat server inside this uh, Eclipse IDE. And in this video, you will see how to create the first project and then your first servlet program so what you do you go to file and then new and then here you can see the lot of list but what you need to do is that you select this dynamic web project okay the third one so go to file and then this dynamic web project after that here you need to provide project name so what i will do first project I will name it and then go to next and after this next and again uh, here you can see one thing uh, you can tick this one so it will automatically create one new file called web.xml so what is web.xml this web.xml is a configuration file of the whole project so you should click this one as well just tick this and automatically it will create a new uh, web.xml file which will the configuration file for our project we will discuss about this later but for the time being it's enough to say that you should click here and after this let's click on finish all right so guys as you can see here is our first project so inside this project the java file will be placed inside this folder and our html and jsp file will be put into web app so what we need to do just go here and new and then inside that we will create here uh, yes right click on this and new and then here servlet you can see this option so we need to name it uh, java package name so let's say a soft tag okay. and then we need to provide here class name this one is important okay so i will name it as first first show late dot java automatically it will be created and then click on next again next and then it will be prompting you to select which methods automatically you want to include into that so let's keep it as it is uh, for example get method post method by the way the, at this point of time we don't need this get import method get method will be enough and after this click on finish all right so here is this one now let's guys so here are a few things we need to understand so these are the required file if you click on this plus sign then you can see these are the required servlet classes which are imported okay and io this one is also required from here so just what we'll do uh, just comment it out and then we will write here a function we will write here response dot set content type content type this one and then text html that means what we are telling to the browser that the text will be text and html and then we will write print and then and then we will write print writer out response dot get writer and for that we need to import here so that this error will be gone here you can see print writer has been imported after this we will just display one message out dot write okay and here we will provide hello world all right guys so that's it in our first program we will display this hello world 
so what we need to do right click on this and after that you go and run as run on server okay then it will be asked you which server you want to display so click on this and tomcat 10 server and then click on finish it says that it will restart the server okay that's fine it's restarting and compiling our program in hi you can see this hello world is displaying here so that's it guys in this video and you have seen how to write your first servlet program so this is our class and then this is our uh, constructor and this one is get method in next video i will discuss get method more and also we will be sending the data from our gsp file and we will be retrieving the value into our servlet program and displaying into the browser so i will show you that in the next video but for starting this video is in enough to see how to run our first servlet program so if you have not subscribed my uh, channel then guys i recommend you to please subscribe and also like this video so that i'm get motivated so thank you for watching bye bye